we need to factor this one. And this one we have two different variables. We've got x's and we have y's. So it gets a little bit uh, complicated if you want to think of it that way. But it's really not so bad, and it's not much different from what we've done in the past. Let me kind of bring in one that you're familiar with, or should be at this point. Okay, if we bring this one in, we can factor this one. I just need two numbers that multiply together to give me c, but add together to give me b. Remember, c is your last term, b is your middle term, or your coefficient of your middle term, I should say. So let's see, c in this case would be 2, a positive 2, but adds together to give me a positive 3. Okay, and here are my factors of 2. I've got a 2 and 1, negative 2 times negative 1. Well, with these, the only one of these that would add together to give me 3 would be a positive 2 and a positive 1. So this one right here would not work, okay? So my factors are x, I know that because that's what I started with, and then I just write in my factor here, a positive 2 and a positive 1. And that's it, that's my answer on that one, okay? Well, we're going to do the same thing on this one, only let's back that up just a little here. Okay, on this one here, it's the exact same thing, only we have y's here. Well, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to switch these two around, and this is in the correct order. This is what we call standard form, alphabetical order. I'm going to switch these two around. I'm going to put my y in front of my x. Okay, so here it goes here, and this looks a little bit weird, but there's a reason why I'm doing that. Over here, we took our coefficient, the number before our variable, which was just 3. Well, the one that's before our variable here is actually a 3y, and y is technically a variable, yes. But just kind of think of it that way. It'll help it a little bit. So I need uh, two things that multiply together to give me c, but add together to give me b. Well, b, c in this case is 2y squared. Okay, well, what multiplies together to give me 2y squared, but adds together to give me 3y? Now, 3y is my coefficient here, okay? So that's the only real wrinkle that we have here, is that now it should be a 3y instead of just plain old 3. Okay, well, 2y squared, that would be 2y times y or negative 2y times negative 1y, and this, uh, let's see, but it needs to add together to give me positive 3y. Well, that would not be the bottom one, so we'll cross that one out. Okay, so we're going to do just like we did up here. Um, we know that the first term is going to be an x. The next term, let's see, I got a 2y, so that will go right here, positive 2y, and this one's just a 1y, so plus 1y. Now, remember when we write these in our final answer, we're not going to write the 1 in front of the y. Okay, so we just write it as x plus y. So here's our final answer, x plus 2y, x plus y. And we really just used the same exact method that we did up here. The only difference was uh, instead of the coefficient just being a 3, it's now a 3y. That's it. Okay, everything else pretty much functions the same.